if you're the type of business where Shopify would be an appropriate platform to sell your products, more than likely your competitors aren't in that 2.5 to 3% range. More than likely they're also selling in that lower 1.4% yep. range. And one of the reasons I wanted to discuss this topic in this stream is that we spend a lot of time talking to the businesses we work with about improving conversion rate. Yep. Um, and it's, it's not uncommon for a conversation to start where the client will say something along the lines of, I want these buttons to be gray. And we respond with, okay, you know, ultimately you're in control and we can make the buttons gray if you want. But what you should understand is that that low contrast midtone is going to decrease the conversion rate for your website. So if you make the yeah. buttons gray, yeah. you won't sell as much online. And fact, fact. Right, fact. That's, that's you know, like, a like, basic of how conversion rate optimization works. The links need to be high contrast, highly visible. They need to stand out on the page. If they don't stand out, you won't sell as much. And a small business owner often doesn't grasp the importance of those kind of small changes. And it can be very difficult to show as a web developer and an e-commerce specialist, because when we talk about increasing conversion rates, we're not talking about doubling your online sales. We're not talking about suddenly going from not converting any of your visitors to converting all of your visitors. It doesn't work that way. When you look at these averages, we're playing in the range of 0.5% to 3% on the like absolute high end. You know, right from Shopify. If you're at 3.3% conversion rate, you are in the top 20% of all Shopify stores. That means that things are flying yeah. phenomenally well. So when that, those percentages are 0.5 to 3.3, really there's only a few points there, but that's six times. Yeah. That's like, which is huge. Which is, is like you're, you're converting six times more people are choosing to buy from you, which is, you know, all things considered, six times the revenue. Right. And this is, this is all very subtle. It's delicate. Again, we're not trying to make massive swings here. We're trying to make subtle changes that are yep. going to make your website perform a fraction of a percent better. That doesn't seem like very much when you go, oh, my revenue is $100,000 for the online store. If I get a 0.05% increase, that's not a lot of revenue, except that we're not talking about the same numbers because that conversion rate isn't based on your revenue. That conversion rate is based on the number of visitors to your store. So if you have a million people visit your store and you're only converting 1% of those. Yeah, you're in trouble. Well, I mean, that's- Well, 1%, 10,000 customers, great. That's 1% of a million. That's still, you know, yep. pretty good. I don't know how much you're spending to get those million visitors. Um, if we can increase that from 1% to 2%. You've gone from, you've doubled. You've doubled your sales. You've doubled. Yeah. And so these small percentage increases can have a massive impact on your bottom line when you consider that they're multiplied by the amount of traffic your website is getting. So, 